Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a discussion thread within Canvas. In the course navigation you will notice that there is a link to go to the course discussions. Here any discussions that you already have created are going to show up and in order to add a new discussion you're going to click on add discussion. Now once you've done uh, clicked on add discussion the first thing you're going to want to do is to put in a title. So I'm going to call this Technology Integration. And then you're going to put in the question. Within this question, you can provide links. You can put images. Uh, you can add video files. You can also, if you look here below, attach any type of file that needs to be attached. If you have a PDF, uh, maybe an Excel document that students need to use during a lab, you certainly could attach those here. So I'm going to pause the video for just a second and get my text in here and then we'll continue looking. Okay, I have added the text in and you can see that I have a couple of paragraphs here. But you'll notice that in this first paragraph that I want students to watch a particular video. This is a YouTube video that I would like to embed right here in between these two paragraphs. So in order to embed this, I'm going to go to YouTube. And once I'm at YouTube and I have found the video, I want to click right here on this share button. And once I click on and share, I want to, I want to click on embed. And under the embed, there is going to give you the embed code. And so I'm going to click a control C to copy that embed code. And now I'm going to go back to my course and I want to, to embed that video here between the two paragraphs. So I'm going to go over here to the HTML, HTML uh, editor. And don't worry too much about this. It's pretty obvious here since I have two very large paragraphs that here are those blank spaces in between the paragraph. So I'm going to put my video right between those two spaces. I'm going to press Control V and there's that embed code that I can put in there. Now, before we move on with this, uh, let's look at our other options here. First of all, under options, if I want to allow threaded replies, meaning I want original responses and, and other responses to that original response all grouped together, I want to make sure and check that. Also, another neat uh, option that you can check is that you uh, would only allow users to, to uh, see the post once they have posted. So they cannot see what other students have written until they have posted their own. And I like to put that one in there. Of course, you can enable a podcast feed if you would like. We want this to be graded. And you can allow liking, which means it would give you uh, the opportunity for other students to give a thumbs up if they like the post that's there. You can make this a group discussion if you want. You're going to put in your point value based on what you want the scoring to be based on. I like mine to be on 100. And I'm going to display that as points. I can create an assignment group. I can certainly put in peer reviews if I think that uh, students need to peer review each other before I actually grade it. And then I can assign the assignment. It always default, defaults to everyone, but remember you can very easily click and you can type in students' names and put those students here as well. Set a due date so students know when this discussion has to be completed. And then you're going to put available from until, and this feature is here, if you have a particular time you want students to be on this discussion. So maybe it's dear, actually during class time, or maybe it's a time outside of class time that you want all students to come together uh, to participate in the discussion. Once you have all those pieces in, you can save and publish. And the, the uh, discussion is now published. Notice that the video I want the students to watch is here. Within the discussion, I can simply click play. And I'm going to pause that so it doesn't start, but the students can watch the video right here. They can change it to full screen. They have full um, control of this particular video. They're able to stop it, pause it, and look through it so that they can uh, be ready to answer the questions that we've posted here. Now, for the criteria, you can add a rubric. And so to add a rubric, you're going to go right up here to this little gear and you're going to say add rubric. 
Now, again, I can create a brand new rubric like we've looked at in previous tutorial videos. But for this particular one, I already have a discussion rubric, and I want to just find that rubric. So when I click on Find Rubric, it's going to show me all my different courses that I have as a teacher, and then all the, the rubrics that I have for those. And so within this course, here is this discussion rubric. So I want to click one time on discussion rubric, and it will now attach that rubric to this discussion. So when students go in, they would simply go up here, click on Add Rubric. Actually, theirs will say View Rubric, and they will be able to see the rubric for grading purposes. Once students are in here and they are participating, they just simply click on Reply, and they can type in their response. Again, they can, they can include links if they need to put in supporting evidence. Uh, they can put in images. They can actually uh, record or upload media. So there are many, many options. Once the students have their answers in, then you can click on, the student would click Post Reply, and all the replies will be there for the discussion. Thank you.